Okay, so at this point, uh, I want to change the font that the uh, my block theme here is using. Um, and I'd prefer if it was a custom Google font. So uh, let's see how we can do that. Um, if I go to the dashboard under our editor, editor as always, um, you see here there's a, you have your settings, you have some other controls, you have this little icon here, this half moon, um, called styles. And this is the global uh, style settings for your block theme. Um, and it has a typography option here. So if we go to text, uh, we can see that there's a couple options. And basically we just wanna add another option to this drop down, so that when we select it, it uses a custom Google font. And we're gonna need to actually load that Google font in. So there's kind of two parts to this. We'll start with just uh, doing the basic uh, loading of the Google font. So if we go to the font we want, um, we see here I already have bold 700 selected, and this is the uh, link styles that we want to add to the head of our uh, page and our site. Uh, one thing to note is uh, don't load in more than you have to. Um, you are yeah, you could technically you know uh, add in all these different weights and styles and italics and all that stuff, um, but if you're not going to actually use it it's just gonna add uh, some overhead to your site performance. So um, stick with exactly what you're gonna need to use and try not to use too many different weights and fonts. So uh, we're gonna copy this, just this, here we go. And um, what we're gonna do to add it to our site um, is go to the snippets uh, I have here. now. Um, usually you'd want to add this directly to your theme. Uh, if you have a custom theme going on, uh, you can add it somewhere in your functions. This is just uh, some PHP we're going to use to hook in to the head of our site. Um, but in this case, um, I'm really not doing a lot of custom theme development. I'm just tweaking things. Um, and this snippets plugin just allows me to throw in some random uh, little PHP here and there. Um, so it's kind of overkill to create a custom theme at this point. Um, but if you have one, feel free to just uh, put it into your actual theme. In my case, I'm going to create a new snippet. And this is going to be called uh, Google Custom Font. So this will allow me to run this PHP. And essentially, we just want to uh, add these links to our head. So there's a hook already in the HTML head of our site or hook responsible for outputting the HTML in the head of our site. And uh, that's called WP head. So we're gonna add an action and hook it into WP head here and pass it an anonymous function. That's gonna do the work for us. And um, we really just wanna dump out whatever text we have. So we're going to um, escape our PHP here and then paste in our links. Uh, that's really all we have to do. Um, I do only want this on the front end of the site. And uh, now we can just verify that this actually did work. So we'll refresh the page, um, make sure these lines are wrapped so it's a little more scannable. And uh, we'll look for some sort of Google font. Yeah, there we go. So you see here, the links we added are there. So now anytime we re reference the Work Sans font in our CSS, uh, it should be able to uh, load in the font and display correctly. So that's part one. Now the next part is actually uh, adding in that option to our fonts uh, in the editor. So that editor we saw before, if I go back to it, uh, here we go, all these settings, and in fact, a lot of the settings, all the settings really uh, for your blocks and your theme, even the native ones, um, they're controlled by uh, a settings or sorry, a theme.json file that's in your theme. Um, and so by editing this theme JSON file, you can uh, add more values, change values, and essentially uh, theme out your site and just all the aesthetic components of it uh, that make up the blocks of your site. So uh, we're going to want to 
get into here somehow. Um, again, if you have a custom uh, a custom theme at this point, you're just going to want to go into that theme and uh, edit the theme.json and then upload it back to your uh, host. Uh, in my case, I'm not using a custom theme. I'm just straight editing uh, my files uh, as I go. So um, this isn't necessarily recommended, but we can do this. So if you go to theme editor, this is a link that no longer really exists in a block theme. Um, as you see here, uh, we don't really, oh, is it maybe there still? Yeah, so you can't really edit your theme through here. But that's fine because the page still exists. <clears throat> and so we can go directly to that URI and we have access to all these files of our theme. You see I'm using the block base theme and we have a theme.json file. So this is what we want. And there's a lot of JSON in this one in particular. So uh, I'm just gonna look for the font families property, which is under our typography settings here. And you see here, it's just a uh, array of objects to define the fonts on the site. So we're gonna add one more. And you're going to want to be careful about writing your chase on here and make sure it's properly formatted. Um, so font family is the most important thing we got here. And uh, we're going to set this to uh, the name that Google gave us and the fallback, which is sans serif. Uh, here we go. So we'll stick it in there. You want to stick the whole thing within the double quotes. Um, play close attention to how you do this because it can be a little finicky sometimes because we are working in pure JSON and it has to validate properly. So uh, font family, and then we're going to give it a slug. The slug is just a, um, uh, a representation of uh, the name in our code. No spaces, nothing like that. And that's what's, that's the name is going to use uh, to create different classes and uh, CSS custom properties. Um, so we want something uh, nice and simple like this. And then the name itself is what shows in the drop down when we're choosing our font. So we can write something sensible like the name of the font. And uh, that should be it. We'll just make sure there's no errors in our JSON. And then uh, now that we've added that, there's just uh, one last step, which is just really to choose the font uh, back where we originally started here. So if I go to typography, always under our styles here, text, we should have another option, which we do, work sans. And if you play close attention to the uh, editor on the left, I'm going to choose this and it should automatically load in our font and we should see a change in the fonts, which we do. That's great. Okay, cool. Uh, pretty subtle, but it's there. Um, and yeah, uh, so that's basically how you add in Google fonts to your block uh, based themes. And uh, that's it.